Okay guys, so I figured today would be the day where we kick off our 450 championship. Now I have hopped in and I have played through the 250 championship three times on like live streams and stuff. So I have some experience with the 250 class. I know the 250 class is a little bit easier than the 450 class. The 450 AIs are on it so this is going to be a ton of fun i'm not going to do any challenges in this series just yet we're going to start the challenges after this career mode so once this 450 career mode playthrough is done we are going to then start the challenges so guys this is what we're going to do we're going to hop in and we're basically going to kick off the 450 career here in anaheim one and that's going to be the first episode and basically how i'm going to do these episodes is week by week so each week of the career the way they've updated it it gives you a weekly agenda and you can kind of do things throughout the week so each week is going to be a new episode there's going to be 17 episodes for this 450 career going from anaheim one and our journey all the way down to Las Vegas. So it's going to be sweet, guys. If you haven't already, guys, join the Goon Squad. Click that subscribe button down there. Help me reach 7K, guys. We are on the rise. Other than that, smash the thumbs up if you do enjoy this video, and we are going to get right in to the career mode. stretches guys we got a career mode to win episode one this is gonna be insane and i know the 450 ais are a little bit uh, a little bit harder than the 250 ais so this should be fun it should be challenging i'm not expecting to win every race and uh, if it gets to that point near the end of the series we'll start doing challenges if we need to but guys here we go picking our first sponsor i think we're gonna go with Thor. We gotta reach at least 5th, we get a promotional day bonus of 3800 credits, a signing bonus of 1400 credits, and our contract duration is 5 weeks. Now I'm not gonna run the graphics, but we are gonna be signed by them. Let's go. Now here, this is the screen that comes up for your weekly agenda, guys. And this is the new thing to the game. So we can come in and we can customize what we're going to do leading up to Anaheim 1. And each episode is going to be one of these weeks. So there are 17 weeks to a championship and each episode is a new week. So that's how we're going to do it. I think it's going to be pretty fun. For the first week, just to start things off, guys, we're going to do a training day to maybe touch up on those skills. We'll then have a rest day on Tuesday, a challenge day on Wednesday. So we'll get to choose either a head-to-head -head challenge or a time attack another rest day on thursday and then friday before the weekend event of anaheim one we will meet the fans so this should be pretty fun we can confirm our agenda and get into it so this is our first training objective cornering speed we have to race the track section with an average speed equal to or greater than the one indicated a higher score is given to a higher speed the instructions are we have to maintain a higher average speed than that indicated cross the finish line within the time limit and rewind is disabled we are not allowed to leave the track we cannot fall and we cannot run out of time we got five attempts to do it let's see what we can do hopefully we can just get her done you know first try i know we can actually triple triple there so if we need to pull that line out, bust that line out, we can definitely do so. And uh, I think, does that count? Or did we miss that checkpoint? Did we do it? Is that, is that good? We did it guys, just like that training objective complete. So onto the next thing here guys, we get to choose a rival and challenge them either head to head or in a time attack race. So I think I'm gonna take on Cole Seeley here just because we have like a 75% rivalry. Do the time attack version of the challenge and we'll see if we can beat Cole Seeley. I did customize a Husqvarna 450 for this. So that's what we're gonna be starting out our career mode on. And we have a pretty sick, a pretty clean Fox gear setup that I like. I don't know why I'm a Fox fanboy, but I am. And you guys probably know that if you ever watched my original Supercross gameplay videos, I was always on either Fox or Answer gear. So the Fox gear in this game, it is clean. And look at this set, man. Can you can you say that's an ugly kit? You cannot. But guys, this is basically a time attack. So we get three laps. We get three chances to try and beat Cole Seeley's lap time. And I think we're going to be able to do it. 
Basically, what you can do with these challenges is they let you unlock the compound layouts in the free ride version. So you can go and you can free ride on the tracks, I'm assuming, and you can race on the tracks right from your free rideable compound, which is pretty sweet. But you have to grind the career mode first, so it doesn't really come without some work. You don't really get that without some work. So that is our plan. We are going to try and unlock that. One of the challenges is to actually complete the 450 career mode. So uh, that unlocks the national track. We will unlock that at the end of the 17th episode. There you guys go. We did it. We beat Cole Seeley's lap time. And now we are in to the race weekend. So I figured before I just hopped in and started racing, I was going to show you guys my race options. So we are on one shot, the medium race length, realistic AI difficulty, advanced physics, joint brakes are off, rider weight is manual, transmission is manual, rewind is off, and flow aid is also off. So we are doing this pretty legit here. The only thing is I'm not doing qualifying or anything, which we might change if you guys want to see that. But other than that, let's get in to Anaheim 1. Oh, this is our media day. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, uh, media day, pretty much nothing. All you do is look at a little cutscene and then you get some credits and some fame. So uh, yeah, thumbs up for that. Now we can hop in to round one at the Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Anaheim 1, guys, it's always good to have a good result at Anaheim 1. You don't want to come out of here in like 16th place. You want to be up there near the front. Now, I'm not sure how the 450 class is going to go. I feel like I'm going to regret not running qualifying because I'm going to just like get in and bounce around for the first couple laps, try and learn the track, and then we'll start to get into a rhythm. So uh, qualifying would actually let us kind of know the rhythms for sure before we hop into the race. This is it, the main event. Let's see what we can pull off. I'm going to try and try and weasel a good start here or at least a semi-decent start around the outside if we can get up near the front early i have confidence oh that works getting the lead right away i have confidence in us staying up here i don't have confidence in us coming through the pack and uh catching up like a 20 second lead on these guys or something so i think now that we got a good start we should be good to try and be up here for the whole race but we will see. These guys are definitely on it in the 450 class on realistic. I've realized that the AIs, I think it's mainly because they're AIs. They hit lines so consistently. They rail the flat corners and they just don't really make mistakes. You know what I mean? Like they don't make mistakes that often and it's tough to beat them. If you're making mistakes, you will not beat these AIs on realistic. Not in this game at least. And that's something I want to talk about because in my opinion it makes the game that much better it makes it good when the hardest difficulty is actually tough and you can't just absolutely dominate the whole entire game like yeah if you want to win every single race you know knock the difficulty down a little bit you know knock it down a few levels and you'll be winning every single race i almost guarantee it but if you want a challenge put it on realistic and these guys will be on you if you if you start messing up you start crashing they will be right there. Now we need to triple into that section. Throw a scrub over the triple. Look at the whips, man. Absolutely love it. So out to the early lead, a few laps into the race, the boy Marvin Muskin is behind us, followed by Justin Barsha, Cole Seeley, Blake Baggett, rounding out your top five. And we're going to see if we can just keep this smooth race going. I mean, Marv, Marv's closing in. Marv is right there. He is definitely not letting us pull away. So we will see what goes down. I'm going to try and start tripling to here, and then we can either double, there we go, double, triple and still get this super cross triple that works that is probably the way you want to get through this section marv coming over the super cross triple we got a little bit of a lead we got a little bit of a gap starting to form but we are not too far out front any mistakes and we will be going down over the super cross triple one more time six minutes remaining in the main event and at this rate it looks like we're just going to kind of cruise to the finish line Unless we start crashing a ton. But so far, so far so good. We are out front. 
clicking off the laps and we haven't really messed up too bad yet just consistency and i think that's what's gonna win championships in this game i think rather than just trying to always be out front i think even if you're just near the front of the pack that's gonna win you a championship because the ai's are always gonna be consistent i can guarantee you that like these guys they're always gonna be up near the front they may have the odd bad race but if you're always back there in like you know 15th 10th you're not gonna be able to pull off that championship win even if you get the odd main event win i just don't think it'll happen i wonder if we could triple into this section that would work on a four dunk i think we could get it we'll just have to try and rail the corner i keep messing up this section we should be tripling in and then hitting a totally different line through here but at least we're still making it through and hitting this supercross triple that is pretty much key you don't want to be losing momentum Baggett is actually like right behind us right now coming through the field he was in fifth not too long ago but the man is on the gas he is railing just like that win he got in the real life supercross season he's lurking and now he's on the hunt for that win Sealy's right there with him we are being chased so if we maybe get a better entry into this corner oh and we're down i was gonna try and get on the gas and triple in that's not gonna happen we go down and look at that we fall to fourth place behind marv Baggett and Sealy all getting by us. That is gnarly. Oh, I just got on the gas a little too hard there in the berm. I wanted to commit and try and make the triple out of that corner. It just was not possible. We got to try and get by Baggett here, get by Marv, and get back into that lead. Sealy can't get that easy of a win. Not at A1. We ain't giving up that easy. Three and a half minutes to go. That's going to be like four laps, probably four or five laps. Let's see what we can do. We're not that far behind. the right here. We gotta get Marv quick though. We do. Maybe right here we can box him out. Maybe hug this inside. And just tell him, nope. This is our position, second place. And now, Sealy. We gotta hunt the man down. And try and get him. I think I'm just gonna play it safe. Hit the line we know we can hit through here. Not risk going down. Not risk messing up. See, we can bounce to here. Get on the gas. Bro, up, triple. And then double into the corner. Or single into the corner. And then bam. Let's see if we can maybe get this line. Wasn't clean. Wasn't pretty. It didn't look like, you know, the finest date to take out to dinner. But we got it done. I think Sealy got this win handed to him. As we hit a weird line into this corner. Mess up this section. Okay, focus. Two and a half minutes to try and get him. I think we can do it. We just got to ride smooth and clean. And this just shows you that you can't make mistakes. Mistakes in this game are huge. And the 450 AIs, they're on it. They are on it. Celia is right there. We just... Oh, we mess up so bad in that section. All the time we gained on them there. We threw it all away. He is totally going to get a win handed right to him. Just for being in the right position, all of our mistakes. Oh, the goon riding. A minute and a half to go. Look at how far ahead he is. Sealy just riding consistent laps. Clicking him off. He got into the lead. And he checked out. The man is gone, guys. I think that is our chance down the drain. Unless a miracle happens in the last minute. I'm not giving up. I know we have some lines that he's not necessarily hitting. We just have to hit them. We just have to hit them. Like here, I don't think he's getting a triple in here. I think he's double doubling through this section. But he's still getting through it clean. I wonder if I could have tripled onto the table. That would have been the fast line through there. That is it, guys. With 40 seconds left, I think Sealy is going to take the main event win. Unless he goes down, and we are going to be rolling in to the next round, sitting P2 in points.
So we're coming on to the last lap, guys. And Sealy has absolutely checked out on us. The man put his head down. Look at him, he's absolutely gone. We stood no chance. We're four seconds ahead of Marv. I mean, Marv is back there. We're kind of just riding our own P2 race right now. Sealy absolutely checked out, and Marv is kind of back there battling for P3 with Bag and Webb. Absolutely crazy, man. What a, like, disappointing defeat in A1. That race should have been ours. We had the whole shot. We had the start. We had everything we needed to get the win and the goon moments. The goon moments got the best of us, but that's good because that shows you right there, and it's a perfect example of how the 450 championship is. It shows you that you cannot be a goon. You have to be nailing your lines and mistakes cost you like in the supercross one i would have had no problem getting up and, and passing sealy here but in this game the ais are just on it and we're gonna have to be happy with a p2 heading out of anaheim one so that's it for this one guys we're gonna be sitting second in points behind cole sealy where did tomac finish seventh so tomac's in seventh for points wild man absolute carnage i hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to smash that thumbs up button and i will catch you guys all in tomorrow's video peace out